story a little cloud in Dubliners. After an eight year absence, Ignatius Gallagher returns to Dublin and has lunch with his old friend, Little Chandler. Chandler works in a law office, but Gallagher has made a name for himself as a reporter in London. Gallagher invites Chandler to London, and Chandler spends the rest of his day fantasizing about what life might be like for him there as a poet moving in literary circles. He meets Gallagher for drinks in the evening. As the two men catch up, Gallagher tells Chandler about the cities he's visited, sharing tales about the Moulin Rouge, the charms of Parisian women, and even a scandalous tale about an English duchess. Chandler tells Gallagher about his wife and little boy and invites him back to meet them. Gallagher blows off the invitation. Chandler feels jealous of Gallagher's success. Chandler suggests Gallagher might be married the next time he visits Dublin. Gallagher dismisses the idea, <laughs> saying he wants to see and do too much to be tied down. Chandler speculates that mm. Gallagher's life must get a bit stale. When Chandler returns home, his wife Annie is in a bad mood. Chandler is late and forgot to bring a package of coffee. She hands Chandler their child and goes out to get some tea. Chandler fantasizes about the women Gallagher talked about earlier and dreams about poetry. The child wakes up crying. Unable to comfort his infant son, Chandler yells at him to stop crying, which only makes things worse. Annie returns and takes the child, asking what Chandler did. Chandler feels guilty, tears well up in his eyes. Gallagher provides an example of the kinds of opportunities that await a man brave enough to leave Dublin. His confidence and gregarious nature have taken him to London, where he works as a journalist, and it seems he's doing quite well. When Gallagher rejects his invitation, Chandler feels Gallagher is patronizing him and Ireland with his visit. The dismissal of Chandler's invitation shows that Gallagher's focus on himself causes him to minimize the choices other people have made. Chandler's resentment follows him home and finds another target in Annie. He looks at her photo and remembers how much trouble he went through to buy the blouse she's wearing and how happy she was that he thought of her. But these memories bring him no joy at the moment. He decides she looks mean in the photo and feels only irritation.